Cool. With this question, we are talking about efficiency. Um, this question is taken from Kruger and Wells, Microeconomics, Chapter 1, Question 9. Um, and the question reads, in each of the following cases, explain whether you think the situation is efficient or not. If it's not efficient, uh, why isn't it? Why isn't it efficient? And then what actions could be made to make the situation efficient? So uh, question A, actually I guess starting off, so what is efficiency? Um, an economy is efficient if all opportunities to make some people better off without making other people worse off are taken. Okay, so let's think about that through these examples. Uh, so example A, um, example A, uh, electricity is included in the rent at your dorm. Some residents in your dorm leave lights, computers, and appliances on when y they are not in their rooms. So I'm pretty sure they're getting at that this situation is not efficient. Um, so elect the cost of electricity is included in one's rent, um, but it's kind of included uh, on average for everyone. So the idea here is that some residents are leaving their dorm lights and computers and appliances on uh, and those things are these increasing these costs that are being added on to other people's dorm expenses. Um, so uh, maybe I, I could talk about how I can make this efficient for you. So if those residents who leave those dorm lights, computers, and appliances on, if they simply turned it off, which would be no cost to them, maybe they need their computers on for some reason, but certainly if they leave their lights and appliances off, that is little or no cost to them, uh, they would decrease the electricity bill for all students, bringing down the cost of their dorm room for everyone. So you can see this is a, a there's a potential in the situation for going to improve by having a lower dorm cost simply by those residents who leave their dorm lights and computers and appliances on by turning them off. Okay, moving on to B. B, although the cost, although they cost the same amount to prepare, the cafeteria in your dorm consistently provides too many dishes that diners don't like. Uh, for example, tofu casserole, um, and they produce too few dishes that diners do, uh, do like, such as roast turkey with dressing. So this is a clearly an example of an, uh, an inefficiency. Uh, if the dining hall simply decreased the number of dishes that people didn't want or weren't that popular uh, and increased the number of dishes that people did want, um, people would be better off. Uh, and by doing that, no one would be worse off. So there's room for efficiency. And, and there's a, some situation out there that's the same amount of cost to all diners where more people are happier, basically where the, the situation where people are able to get their additional roast turkey dressing that before wasn't available to them because they ran out. Uh, moving on to the last one, C, the enrollment for a particular course exceeds the spaces available. Some students who need to take this course to complete their major are unable to get, uh, unable to do so, uh, unable to get a space, even though others are taking it uh, as an elective. Do you get a space? So the, I think the idea that they're getting at here is that it's inefficient um, because the people who value this most should be getting it, while someone taking it for an elective presumably values it less than someone who is who. Uh, needs to take this course as a requirement for the major. So there's a couple different situations. So one would be to give priority uh, to the people who require it for a major. Another would be those people who took it for an elective. Um, they could switch it. So we need to have, uh, in order to make this uh, situation efficient, we need to we need to do so such that the people who are taking for an elective are, are not made worse off. So the idea is that if there's some way in order that these people, the elective takers, can switch uh, those enrollment seats with the people who are requiring to take it. Um, so I mean, as an example, if you haven't enrolled and let's say you sell it for a price that these um, students required to take it uh, are willing to pay, then no one's worse off because these people who are required to take class but weren't able to uh, can pay a small fee to get it, and then these people who were taking it as an elective get a small fee in order to drop out of the class. Um, so there's, there's a situation in which everyone uh, would be, be able to improve their, their like, welfare from this. That is to say, there could be some sort of like exchange mechanism such that 
um, both students, the ones who are taking it for elective and currently enrolled, uh, can switch it with those people who aren't enrolled but need to take it as a major, um, such that they're both better off through the trade. Um, so yeah, these are, I think, three situations that were not efficient but could possibly be through a simple change. So once again, efficiency, the economy is efficient if all opportunities to make some people better off without making other people worse off are taken. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you. Goodbye.